What's up everyone, it's me Daryl V and today we're going to be looking at the hex drive from Fortin Amplification. Basically, the Fortin hex drive was only available on the Neural DSP plugins. I wanted to try it for myself just to see how it compares, you know, with my other overdrives. And yeah, so what we'll do is that we'll take a look, see how exactly how I use it, and in hopes that it helps you make an informed decision. So if you're new to the video, I basically make pedal boards, pedal board rigs such as this, and this is going straight to an IR, and it goes directly to the interface, and it goes straight to you for you all to hear. This is basically the tone that I've set up, you know, just before we have any sort of overdrive. <laughs> I find that the chug pedal is very dry, but it's not a bad thing because any sort of dryness in uh, pedals, I find that there's a lot more dynamics and it's definitely ideal, especially if you're going to be using an overdrive to basically push it. So once again, this is the sound that you hear. And this is my sound with the hex drive set up. So I have the drive set to like 11-ish. I have the level all the way up, you know, to max. What I'm using is a Solar A2.6C. It's going straight to the hex drive, going straight to the chug pedal through a Fortin Zool, and then a mower delay, and then going straight into the mower radar. And that's basically the sound that you're hearing. And now what we'll do is that we're gonna take a look at the pedal. If I set up everything to like, you know, 12 o'clock, this is the sound that we get. <laughs> In fact, let's start tweaking with the drive at zero. And if we dial it to like nine... If we do it from zero to 11... So by the time when we hit like, you know, past like 12, you could hear the clipping, which brings the distortion and it sounds very clear. <laughs> Now let's do this all the way max just for science. Let's try this with the level. Let's experiment with this. Level at nine. Had to break up, but that's not a sound that I'm gonna use. So let's just bring this back to 12. Now we have this set up to four o'clock. And with the level all the way up. Okay, now let's do this. If I have the drive all the way at zero and level all the way to max, basically treating this as a clean boost. <laughs> Bring this to nine, and they say this is still clean boost territory. Yeah. 
But my ideal settings for that is that I like to have this around, let's say, 11 to 12. I just like that we have a variety of sounds coming from an overdrive pedal. So that's that's a big win for me. Now, if we want to set up a lead tone, I like to have a lot more sustain in the notes. Uh, whereas, let's say, for example, if we're playing this with the uh, chug pedal without it, it would be like... So that's the rock tone. But then if I have the drive, if I bring this up to, let's say, 12, you know, around one... And if we add some delay, And if that's not enough, I mean, we have the tone control and this brings a lot more mid. So if we do this in, let's bring back to rhythm territory. Let's have the drive all the way at zero. If we bring that to 12. And all the way up. <laughs> Lastly, let's do drop C. Now that I have the tone all the way up. So how do I feel about the hex drive from Fortin? I definitely have to say this has become one of my favorite overdrives. And I love that we have the variety of a clean boost. And then as soon as we have the drive all the way to like 11 o'clock, it brings it into like chugging territory. Very good for rhythm tones. And then if we go past, you know, two o'clock, this is where you have like good tones for like lead. So you, the notes sustain, you're gonna be able to pick lighter, you know, with your right hand, everything just sounds clearer when it comes to using this. The tone part is actually perfect when it comes to like even with low tuning. Thank you again for checking out this video. I really do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this and I hope to see you in the next one.